The next common problem that we're going to show here is an athlete what I call blowing through their block or not having a solid block. A lot of times you'll see athletes come in and they'll kind of toe in on that block and have a bent left leg which promotes pulling down, everything kind of going down. The correct way is to of course have a solid left block, solid left foot and pushing up over the top of that left side. Once again, Pete is going to demonstrate the incorrect way of doing it, of having no block or a soft left block. Notice he's going to have a soft left side, what we call blowing through his block. Now Pete's going to do it the correct way. Notice he's going to have a solid left foot placement, going to hit flat foot, leading with the heel, hitting a flat foot, and then he's going to push up over the top of that left leg. Very good. The next thing that we're going to do is show a couple of, um, a couple of common errors uh, in the front of our thrower and the release of our javelin. We're going to do this from a five-step approach, just simply to show you what we use um, in practice, throwing from three-step, then moving back and throwing from five-step. Once again, I would, I would strongly suggest that you make your athletes become proficient in the three-step before you move back to the five-step. But for demonstration purposes, we're going to show things the uh, incorrect way and then the correct way. The first uh, common error that, that we notice most of the time is the athlete bailing out on this left side or pulling away and down on the left side. Um, of course we want our athletes to stay nice and tall on this left side, feel a solid left side block and keep this left shoulder up. But Jeff here is going to demonstrate again the incorrect way of bailing out on the left side. He's going to take a five step throw and he's doing this the incorrect way, bailing out on his left side. Notice how he pulled down long and away. That's a very common error that we see in a lot of javelin throwers. All right. The next thing that Jeff is going to do is showing the correct way to do this. He's going to really just focus on bringing his left fist to his left armpit and keeping his left shoulder up. One thing that you can have your athletes think about is there's a brick wall behind their left shoulder. They can't turn it away. They just come right here and it stops. Very good. Again, we're coming from a five-step short approach, solid left side. We're going to have Jeff do one more where he's really going to focus on keeping his head and chest up into the throw, solid left side. Very good.